as the festive season uh, approaches uh, families individuals are battling with trying to strike a balance we all know that the economy is not really friendly at the moment as some persons have actually said that uh, the cost of living is actually choking the living but what do we do we must celebrate we have some guests who will be helping us make sense of the discussion uh, i've got with me in the studio mrs vivian adewi adewi a certified caterer and a public speaker uh, with passion for women empowerment she's the convener deborah of our time welcome to the program thank you very much for having me all right and of course uh, also with us in the studio is uh, miss josephine Ekbeyong, a major distributor of nigerian wares and CEO of Vida Collections. Thank you very much for coming, Ms. Joseph. Thank you very much for having me. Okay, now, before we actually uh, came on board, I was asking if people still buy clothes for their children. I would like us to start with that, you know, though it's not really part of the plan. But I would like us to hit on that. Those days when I was growing up, uh, my mom would always get us Christmas wear seven months to Christmas. And at times, if you see some of these clothes, it's like oversized. You know, it can carry us for like two, three, four years. You see the shoes they buy for us. We need to choke it and choke it and choke it. Back then, it's a tradition. We go into the bedroom and just peep and gaze into the clothes and come back. With that smile of satisfaction of Christmas, is just ahead. Do we still have parents practice that? Let's start with you, uh, Mrs. Adido. Thank you very much for that question. Mm. I, was so, I was smiling not when you were asking that question because I have an experience of that. I would say we have, but it's not as much as those days. Because children that we have nowadays are not children that you can just go and ahead and buy what your choice for them. They speak out. But in our own days, we dare not speak. Whatever your parents give to you, that's what you accept. And they, there's a way they will force you to wear it. Mm -hmm. But children of nowadays, you can't do that to them. Even if you try to force them to wear some things, they will rather revolt that I'm not doing it. Do your worst. So we, I don't think those are our time and season is still the same thing now that we have presently. With the generation that we have now, mm. they won't accept it. So we have a generation of do it that like I want. Do it the way I want it. And okay. you must accept it the way they want it. The justice for our own generation then. Um, uh, Ms. Ekpe Young, you are in two ways. Uh, do we still have parents come tell you uh, Christmas is approaching, New Year is approaching, I don't get clothes six months ahead. I'll start paying small, small. My mom would pay. She used to do a lidara. You know, what we call a job. She would be saving small, small. And when she takes us to the tailor, she would say, give them oversize, especially this one. Especially me. Do we still have parents come tell you since you are into Nigerian wear? No, okay. I don't sell yeah. single clothing, like selling one for people okay. that put on. I'm a major distributor. The people that sell in their shop and hmm. maybe drop shippers. So the only thing I know, they will, tell, they will come to me that they Please, this is what I want. This is what is trending, and this is what I want. Maybe they want a personal production or however. Okay. In terms of um, the only one I know is um, they can pay small, but they will buy goods and in bulk. Yes, and stockpile. Okay. Like they will buy, they will they will choose and make half payments. I will keep for them. Then, whenever the money is complete, I will send it out. Whenever the money is complete. Yes. Okay, let's come to Mr. Dude. Uh, given the economic challenges, uh, what's your advice or what do you have for families on um, creating festive meals on low budget? What I would say is this. If you are creating a festive meal on low budget, you work according to your budget. The first priority is to do what is set a maximum amount of what you are spending within that period. You don't go to the bank or you don't break the bank because you want to celebrate festive period. Mm. The first thing you need to do is this. Set a budget for yourself. What you can afford that period. Just do it. Don't do things to please anybody. Don't do things because others are doing it. The first priority is set a budget. Make a list of what you can afford that period. What are those things that you know that, okay, this is what my family can afford this period. Let me go with it. Mm. Don't do a thing that you are trying to please people. For instance, you know, nowadays people people do things based on based on what pe other people are doing. Maybe a family is said to do some particular things, and we are one way or the other trying to envy that family. That I must, or maybe like, like for instance, like last year, you were doing more better than this year. Than this year, you don't want people to know that or to observe that you are going through some stuff. You try to please a particular set of people that I must not go down. Don't do it. 
festive period is not about material things. Festive period is about love. Do what you know is best for you and your family and go with your budget. That's my one point that I can give. Okay, now talking Make about budget, uh, Young, um, Lagos is known for fashion. This is the center for all kind of fashion. But what's your advice to those of us who are planning to celebrate Christmas affordably? What's your advice? The kind of fashion trend we should uh, look for or look out for? Well, Nigerian made has a varieties from tops to gowns, like whatever you want. So you should go for what you want. Look at your body type and you shouldn't maybe if you put on a sexy gown or sexy you soon go with you and you go start wearing it. So just look out for what will be okay for you. We have affordable yes that everybody. We have everything for everyone. From affordable to um, high quality. So we have everything. From affordable. Yes. What I ordered for versus what I get. No, no, not actually. Um for instance now what I'm putting on now mm. is a Nigerian product, right? Okay. okay, if you are buying in bulk now for this, I think it's three thousand five hundred now. Per one. Yes. So am I might not. Oh. oh really? If you are buying like bulk, mm. like if you are buying from let's say 30 pieces. Uh -huh. So it depends on the quantity you are buying. Mm. So you should just go for what you know. Okay. Talking about going for what you want, uh, Mr. Adido, how can people prioritize spending during the festive season without um, overshooting their budget? You know, this is a season where people spend, then by January, their eye will not clear. You know, we, sp there's, we spend lavishly, just spend reaching out. Then at the end of Christmas, when you are 93 January 2nd, January 3rd, Saturday has not come. I will not clear. How do we spend around our budget? The best way you can spend around your budget is still based on making a list of what you want. Making a list of what you want. What are you going for? You know, nowadays we go above our expectation. We do things based on what the season is all about. One thing we don't remember is this. When we spend all, all what we have during the season period, what about after the season? What do we do next? That's the question we are asking now. Mm. So the, the, the important thing for us to do is always, I always tell people this, make a budget for yourself. Don't go beyond that budget. Whatever budget you are making for yourself and your family, work with that budget. Don't exist that budget. If you are making a budget for this season or for the festive, that we are making a budget of three to five hundred budgets for your expenses and all that. Go with that budget. Don't go above that budget. If you try to make things, as I said, if you try to make things to please people, mm. you end up in debt. In he you end up, those are the kind of people, once it's January like this, we start complaining. Everybody has the mindset of January is so hard. It's like January doesn't end. It doesn't Especially end. For yes. those that don't have money. January that doesn't, doesn't end. end. So mm. that is not a slogan for us to be having. If you don't have a proper plan for yourself mm. within now and the festive period, you'll be among people that are complaining that January is always so difficult. Mm. So the best thing for everyone to do is to always make a budget, write your list, what and what do I need to buy. Okay and what you can offer for that season. I'll still come back to you Thank because you. you have a program where you meet with women. Uh, you call them the Deborah of, of our, our generation. You know, but this Deborah, some of them inside, they used to give us headache. But we'll get to that. Uh, Mr. Kweyong, to an extent, do we need to always buy clothes every festive season? I, I know it's business, so, but must we <laughs> buy clothes? If you check your gender now, for instance, go to your boxes. There are clothes you have not used for the past exactly. one year. Yeah. But since you are into but um, wearing Nigerian wears or selling Nigerian wears, must we buy clothes every time to celebrate the festive season? I don't think so. I don't think so. Don't buy what you will not use. Like if you are buying anything, you should make sure that you are using it. Mm. So if you have already like what you can use, so what's the sense of buying? I don't think so. You don't think so? Yes. You are a mother, you are a <laughs> wife. Most women always ask for new clothes. I'm speaking on behalf of my gender now, though I'm very single, but I'm speaking <laughs> on behalf of all of us. For me, I will speak for myself and on behalf of the women. Some mm. women like varieties. So I will say yes. But based on your present situation, you know, some women will tell you that I'd rather buy clothes for my children than for myself. So that's why I say based on your present situation. Mm. For single parents or single ladies like that, they can't, they can afford what they want to wear. 
I will say yes for that. But for married people, they rather buy clothes for the kids than for their own, and they will go along with what they have. Thank you. So it's both sides. So talking about going along with what you have, like she said, uh, what alternatives will you suggest for those uh, who wants to stay stylish uh, but are conscious of spending? Well, for me, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we all have, like me, I don't really, spending like, if I'm not, I don't have need or reasons why I should use whatever, I don't buy it. Like I check my budget, what I want and if I don't, if it's not important. Like this Christmas, Asha, me and this do, you know, fashion things, cha. This Christmas, maybe if I want to get anything, I will just look at if it's shoe or if it's clothes or if it's hair, I'll go for it. Like most people, they will just go to the market, they will get five shoes. Meanwhile, at the end of it, they won't, they won't put on anyone. So get clothes. You should just go for what, like, your needs mm. at the moment. That's what I would. Okay, let's get back to you now. Uh, for individuals with uh, limited resources, how can they make this season feel special for their families? Those that have limited resources, how would they feel special? They can take a walk. It's not compulsory. You make the first tip period feel special for you by cooking or looking nice. You cannot decide to take a walk to your family. By going to take the a cinema. Walk to take a walk to the cinema. No, <laughs> you take a walk to the cinema. You, take okay. a, you visit somebody. Mm. Just make yourself happy. Okay. That's the key point. Make, find a way to make yourself happy. Mm. It's not compulsory you put on the, what they are wearing or you want to cook the latest food. Mm. Just leave the home with your family. Take a walk. Go to the cinema. Visit family. Find a way around it to make yourself happy. First period I said is about love. Okay. It's about love. So find a way around it to make yourself happy. Find joy. Find love between you and your family. So on Christmas Day now, just leave the house and start working. Find around. a way to go just to make yourself happy. The new Jones, I'll just be walking, it can be, be down that bridge. It can be to the back. mall, you can go to the cinema to mm. watch film with your family. Watch Even if, if you don't have I don't have money, but I still want to enjoy the season. You can, there's no way you will say you don't have money. Oh, so what are you doing at home? There's, there will be a way around it. The money will not be enough, but you have something to take you out with your family. Okay. The money will not be enough for you to cook, to buy all those stuff for that first period. Okay. But you still have something to take you people out. That's the best thing I can advise. Okay. Just go out from the house. From the way you are sounding is like you are really prepared this Christmas. So myself and my crew, we have where we we'll go and celebrate Christmas. You are welcome. <laughs> the way you are just sounding, you are just sounding so confident like I'm ready, I'm waiting for Christmas to come. <laughs> <laughs> let's get to uh, Mr. Kpenyo for, uh, let's uh, look at it this way. Uh, to an extent, people still feel they want to look good. But we have problem in Nigeria. That's the problem of comparison and uh, competition. How do we limit this issue to have a healthy society? You see people go to church. They will not like uh, Mr. Dede. I know you don't have, she don't have, have those people in her church anyway. <laughs> I know. You, don't, you now hear somebody say, Mrs. Lagbaja is wearing this hairstyle. That is what I want to wear next Sunday. How do we limit competition so that we can have a healthy society? I don't think you can limit competition. <laughs> it's just women lifestyle, I think. Mm. Then everyone should go for what they can afford. If you know you can afford luxury, go for it. <laughs> if you know you can afford, um, afford a pocket friendly, go for it. So there is no way you can avoid it. No so we cannot we cannot break away from competition yeah it's all about contentment like you are okay with what you have so mm. ah, in terms of breaking i don't think so mm -mm. Mm -mm. it's not possible it's not possible okay to break uh, out of competition it, it, it's not possible it's not, it's it's not, not possible. possible it's not, possible. It's not okay. just be content just be okay but just be yourself like me i don't really i don't and you don't <laughs> have their own lifestyle yes. of doing it yes but it's not possible to it's be not possible. Of, I have a question for you, uh, Mrs. Adede. How can catering services offer budget-friendly options uh, to clients during these tough times? How can you offer budget-friendly options for clients? Especially those who don't want to cook, maybe those that are singularly simple. They just want to still enjoy the festive season. How can they have friendly budgets? The way the first and foremost, because it's actually my line, what we do to those kind of clients is this. We call their attention and try to know what their budget is and we work with their budget. You know, some clients will tell you that, okay, I want something, something continental, but I don't have some certain amount to do this. How will you work with me? 
So we we'll work. We we'll let. We we'll make them understand that okay, if you want, if you want continental dishes, what is your budget? If you're telling us your budget, then we'll, okay, this is what I can afford. We we'll now walk around with it. Not that without budget you cannot get the tasty or nourishing food. You still get what you want, but it will not be like. I don't know if you try to understand. It will not be like the way someone paying. Okay, for instance, someone is paying like three hundred thousand naira for a dish, and you are coming in with hundred thousand naira. You still get the best, but not as. So some things will be missing. Something will be missing from there. Okay. So we work with your budget. We don't try to limit some people that okay, since you don't have this amount, money, I can't do it for you. No, you bring them closer to, to make them to understand something. Okay, this is what you you have. This is what I can work. So we just still enjoy such meal. Because they will. That's what I'm saying. Somebody who brings three hundred thousand, somebody three hundred thousand. That's what I'm saying. It will have the nourishment and the tasty will be there. Mm. The taste of this food will be there. You will enjoy the food. They will enjoy the food. They will enjoy the food with, that, with their budgets. Irrespective of their sleep. Irrespective budget. of the food, they will rest, uh, still enjoy the meal. Okay. You are giving some people hope this morning anyway. Let's come <laughs> back to uh, Mr. Kbayong. Uh, what Nigerian fa fashion items are affordable and versatile for holiday wear? Uh, we have trending fashion items in Nigeria. Like both of, uh, most of the things we have here are copied from Turkey and China. So we have, um, from as I said earlier, we have um, we have gowns, sexy wears, corporate, like whatever you want. Mm. Even if, even boxers stuff. Wow. We get them. So I think. So I can just wear boxers. <laughs> Christmas day. No, we get they like like no, it's a boxer like I'm just I'm just. You can wear boxers at your home now. Okay. Uh -huh. A boxer on the top. We are indoor. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Are indoor. Thank you. I said okay. you are expecting you visitors. See? You know, the essence of festivity, <laughs> like you said, is to go out, share, celebrate. Yeah. So she's not saying I can wear boxers no, and I'm being. <laughs> ah. <laughs> What's the name of this agency that just? No. I know it's not last Masha. <laughs> no, excuse me. Okay. Like. If you are dressing, you start as a man. You you wear boxer before you wear trousers. Okay. So okay. you shall not just carry uh, trousers trouser like, like that, that without boxer. Okay. So we have those things. We have boxers. So anyone you want, from the affordable to luxury. I said we still have Nigerian luxury. Like you have very quality. So those ones that you hear, um, um, this is what I ordered and this is what I Auntie got. Auntie, help us. I want you to help us. We are looking <laughs> exactly. at it within the context of those that don't have money. You have been shouting luxury, luxury, <laughs> and somebody's heart will just be skipping. We don't have the money for luxury. This is your line. This is your business. Leave the luxury for those in Ireland, those in VI. Okay. Talk to us, those of us that are living around Mainline, uh, Mushin, yeah. Under Bridge, all of us here Mainline that need connection. to survive. Those of us in Okoko Michael. <laughs> how can we still feel along, feel among, and enjoy the Christmas? Okay, when I'm talking about quality. Doesn't mean it's expensive. Mm. We have colleagues that, that are very affordable. We have um, uh, um, clothes you can put on. We have we still have like three thousand. We have three five like. Oh really? Com yes, we have those that are affordable as that. Mm. So you should just get go get what you can afford at the end of the day. Okay. So no competition. Just get what you know you can buy. Okay. Like David said, no competition. Let's. Come I back. want to. I want to add to what she just said. Okay. She says you can you can get something for three thousand three five mm -hmm. to wear. Can't can someone get something below that range? Again. I'm just She's reducing the price now. Do yeah. we have? Something you can still get something that is below that range. Below that range. Okay. Let me let me let me just say that this way. Maybe if you want to get something below that range, that means you're going for this uh, uh, fairly used stuff, right? Hey, if you are going for something below, as far as um, Nigerian made product production is concerned, mm. I don't think you can get something below mm. that mm. And in short, it's even skyrocketing because as of um, last week, we don't have price. So we don't have Is it because of the first period too? Uh, it's, it's because of the country, not the first period. Mr. Dino is turning to an assistant uncle. <laughs> yeah, it's because of the first period, okay. not because of... Uh, we, we have limited, I mean of we have limited time now. We, we'll be going in a moment, but quickly, how can people save on food, clothing, and um, as they as prices continue to rise, like you were asking, how can people save? Mm, a deep question. How can people save? Mm. Can you still save money wow. in this period, within this period? Yes, you can. There's this particular. Um, I want to be practical here. You know, for me, I have a particular. Um, what do they call it in this local diet? Mm. Um, this small box they used to save, you just go there and drop 
whatever you have seven on daily basis, seven box on daily basis. I do that a lot. Mm. And what makes you to achieve this, except if you are disciplined. If you are not a disciplined person, you can't achieve it. So when you have the culture of discipline, you are disciplined within you, you can save as much as you can. You know, when you come back on daily basis or maybe weekly or two, two days in time, you decide, okay, this is what I'll be dropping every day for your whole year. You can achieve it. For instance, you're you making a decision for yourself, okay, from now to December next year, I want to save a particular amount. You can achieve it. It's you disciplining yourself. The economy will not push hmm. you to break the... No, uh, that's what I'm saying, discipline. If you have the discipline culture, hmm. you can achieve it. Okay. All right, Mrs. Ekpeyong, this is the last one now. How are you guys fearing with your business? Uh, at, I know when dollar rise changes, prices rise, like you have said. You see, as of last week, prices has changed. How are you guys fearing this period? Has it been fine? Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. Should I say it's fine? <laughs> it's really affecting my customers. Like yesterday, there is one of my Ghana customers. In that, Ghana? Yes, okay. that brought, uh, brought goods, like items. So when I was calculating, I was like adding more price. It was like, she was like, ah, this one, she was now snap sc uh, screenshotting. This is what I posted and this is what I'm giving to her. Like, I told her ah, that dollar don't rise, so. and uh, uh, Naira don't fall. So it's not being easy. It's not easy. Like my major, I should say my major, my big, my major bias are outside okay. the country. Like Nigerians in Nigeria, it has, it's not being easy. With. Everybody. Everyone is going through a lot. a lot. Justice for Nigerians at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Ekbayong, for finding time to be on the program. Of course, uh, Mrs. Vivian Adidori. Thank Mrs. you very Sally, much. I appreciate for you me. for coming. All right, this is how far we can go from our uh, Lagos uh, studio.